Hi, this is Lindsay from Equip Me OT here today to talk about bed rails. So specifically, I'm going to go over bed rails that are meant to help with your bed mobility. So whether that's getting in and out of bed or whether that's moving around when you're in bed, these rails are specifically constructed to help with that. They are not going to be the best rails out there to help prevent falls getting out of bed. So um, those are a different type of rail that I would go over in a different video. So we're going to go about installing one of these as well as going over a second option that has another option to it that might be interesting for some of you. So this is a very basic bed rail. Uh, this one is by Handy Rail. You can see here, it came disassembled in a few pieces, not particularly complex to assemble. You can see it's got this piece here that goes above the bed. You've got a long piece like this that's going to slide under the mattress. This is very important because this type of bed rail will require your bed be one that is a mattress sitting on top of a bed spring. If you have a bed that is in fact a a uh, large mattress resting directly on top of a bed frame. A lot of times these aren't going to work for you and there are other options out there for that. So specifically today, this type of bed rail requires a mattress on top of a bed spring. So this long piece here, very importantly, is going to sandwich between those two things. If you can see here, it's got two holes. This is for an add-on feature. Some bed rails come with it standard. This one did not. It comes with a safety strap. So the safety strap is a black, usually black piece of uh, strapping that has a buckle at the end. And what that does is fasten to this end of the bed rail and it slides and goes all the way through to the opposite side of your bed and hooks to your bed frame. So that just adds additional stability. This one also you'll notice has feet and the feet on it are really nice. I like them as a stability feature. It's going to prevent that bed rail from tilting when you're uh, pushing on it in bed or pulling on it. It's not essential. So if you have a very tall bed, for example, something that uh, maybe has extra pillow top on top or it just sits on a very tall bed, uh, you may want one without feet because the feet won't touch the floor. Um, they don't come with a ton of extension. So just take a look at the height of your bed. This bed is a pretty standard height, not a particularly tall one worked with both bed rails that I had purchased. So if we want to take a look real quick here, installation is very easy. However, I do recommend installing before you have a scheduled surgery. Um, if you know you're going to possibly need one, get it in place, kind of get it positioned where you like it before you go in for surgery. That way you're not wrestling with your mattress and having a hard time getting around afterwards. If you do have to do it after the fact, I would ask somebody to help you because moving a mattress around is always a little awkward. Okay, so really important when you're installing one of these, you want to be towards the head of the bed. You don't want to be right in the middle because it's going to affect where you get in and out. You don't want to be sitting way down at the end and having to scoot up. So I'm going to position mine kind of right here. So a good rule of thumb is your pillow width should be clear. You don't necessarily want it at the width of the pillow. So I'm putting it right at the edge of my pillow. So I'm going to lift the mattress, and this is going to go in real easy. Like I said, I'm not doing the safety strap, so I don't have to go all the way to the other side. We're going to keep going, keep pushing it in until you are flush to the edge of the mattress and the edge of the box spring. You really don't want a gap here because if you were to roll or um, pinch your arm between, it can cause some, some issues there. All right, so it's in position. The weight of the mattress and then your body weight laying on top of it are what's going to keep this stable from moving around on you. Most of these are around a 300 pound weight capacity. They do make them for a slightly heavier weight if you need them. There are two feet that I've already adjusted to be the height of this bed. So the feet are squarely on the floor, which is really important because now you can push down through the rail and it's not going anywhere. So very helpful if you need help sitting, coming to a stand before getting into bed. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna show you real quick how this is used. So now I'm, you can use this bed rail when you're getting around to the edge. You can sit here. I've got something to hold on to in case I need a little bit of help um, adjusting myself, perhaps when I'm getting out of bed. To use it to get into bed, I can scoot back with it, lay myself flat here, move my box, 
So I'm down like this. If I needed help rolling, I can grab it. I can do this. If I need help getting to a seated position, I can use it to pull myself up, pivot, and come to back to the edge, and then use it to help me stand. So a really practical solution, very easy to install. So I'm going to go ahead and show you another option that I found that has got a little extra trick to it that I think is kind of interesting. So here we have a second bed rail option. This is by uh, Healthcraft and it is the Smart Rail Swing Away. So quite a mouthful, but it does have the additional feature that I think some of my uh, population really, really likes um, with the swing away arm. It installs almost the exact same way as the other one. You can see that instead of going the width of the bed, this one actually distributes the weight head and foot. So we've got little extensions that go on both ends. Um, it really doesn't seem to have a major effect on how it supports. And then it also has much like the other side, it's got feet that go to the floor. So again, this model is going to require a mattress over box spring setup, and it is going to be needed in a not abundantly tall bed. If it's just a standard height bed, you're gonna be able to set this up just fine. It does require a tool in that the actual locking mechanism here can be adjusted for the height, so you adjust it, just this piece, to allow for greater height if your bed is taller, that does require the use of an Allen wrench. It comes with it if you buy it new. If you buy it used, you will need one Allen wrench at the size of 3 30 seconds to make it work. So simply loosen the, the little nut in there and you can raise this up and down to create the proper height. I've already adjusted this one to be the right height, so we're going to go ahead and install this. So very similarly to the other side, you just need to find the edge of your pillow. That's where the edge of the rail is going to go. This one you're going to slide the piece. Again, we're lifting mattresses here, so it's a little awkward. There we go. And lift and slide. All right, a little too far there. So this has a flat white metal piece that is intended to go flush to the edge of the mattress and the edge of the box spring which ours does and you can see here once it's locked into place the feet should touch the floor and when you are using it you would use it just as you did the other type of bed rail you can see it's slightly wider though so this one would provide a little bit more grab area as well as help a little bit more in the prevention of falls out of bed because it has more width and can stop you a little bit better. But because it's got the swing away option, it doesn't, it doesn't affect how you get in and out. So for example, if I'm getting into bed, I can stand up here, lift this out of the way. Now I can get in at my normal position, kind of towards the head of the bed here. I can swing my legs around, position, lay down, bring this in, and it moves really easily, so now it's in place. Now when I go to get up, I get up. I can move this out of the way if I want to. It gives me a different grab point. Now here's where I want to give my warning. I like this product, I don't love this product. It does not lock in place once it is swung open, so it does wiggle around and move. So if you're somebody who really needs a lot of stabilizing when you're standing, be aware that when you grab this, it might move on you. That's very important. So if you're a caregiver helping somebody with this type of bed rail, you may need to provide a stabilizing force onto the bed rail so it doesn't swing around. So that's just my little caution for this type of bed rail. So there you have it, a pair of bed rails that work really well for a lot of physical needs, uh, really easy to install, very, very low cost, and can provide a ton of assistance if you need it getting in and out of bed and moving around. So if you got some value out of this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and subscribe to Equip Me OT. Thank you.